get when you mix together data from a raw chicken, an elephant, and a 67 million year old dinosaur fossil? The ability to understand for the first time what dinosaur skin could have actually looked like. Since the first dinosaur fossils were discovered in the early 19th century, we've been able to study and record hundreds of thousands of samples of fossilized bones, but have found relatively little information about dinosaur skin. To understand why, we need a raw chicken. In this rudimentary kitchen, scientists flambéed a hen with a four-meter-long flamethrower to simulate the heat found deep underground, where fossilized animals spend millions of years in Earth's pressure cooker. Actually, it smells quite good. Next, a massive meat tenderizer mallet demonstrates the intense force of pressure that a fossil would experience buried under rock. Oh, <laughs> that is disgusting. Not surprisingly, after this experiment, the chicken and its skin are pretty much indistinguishable. But even roadkill like this provides better clues than what exists in the fossil record. That is, until one brilliant discovery in 2004. Nestled deep within a rock formation in North Dakota, one of the world's most intact dinosaur mummies was found. There, a four-ton, almost perfectly preserved hadrosaur, aptly named Dakota, was entombed in a once-in-a-lifetime environment of soft, sandy mud and covered in a blanket of plants. And most importantly, it provided for the very first time an actual three-dimensional model of a dinosaur's skin structure. The findings revealed intact scales and markings that suggested a camouflage pattern as opposed to a solid color. It represented decades of research and provided concrete clues to dinosaur skin composition. Now, to complete the picture of what dino skin could have actually looked and felt like, we add the final ingredient, an elephant. Sheba, the portly pachyderm, weighs about the same as Dakota and probably dealt with the same issues. How to stop all of her thick skin from sagging to the ground? In order to understand the structure of how the skin stretched and bundled together with movement, scientists focused on her elbow joints, where the skin joins muscle, ligaments, and bone. They found that the skin folded into clumps and was actually thinner around the joints, just like samples found on Dakota. Now it's time to whip all the ingredients together. Enter the data into a super high-tech computer and voila! A flawless representation of what Dakota the Hadrosaur could have actually looked like.